Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shanma here. Welcome back to more RC video reviews from my little main cave. Excitingly and patiently, I have been waiting for the Ishin EV200D, the newest 5.8 GSZ 3D FPV video goggles. Now, before we go ahead and take the goggles outside the box, let me tell you why you should consider buying Ishin EV200D and what makes it better than other FPV video goggles, more preferred FPV video goggles compared to the other FPV video goggles available in the market. Well, that is the feature and capability of Ishin EV200D FPV video goggles to take aftermarket open source diversity video receivers and not just one, two open source diversity video receivers that you can buy and install in these FPV video goggles and get exceptional reception by using twin diversity video receivers and four different types of antennas. Now, Ishin EV200D are available in two different versions for you to order. You can order set A that does not come with any video receivers installed in the FPV video goggles. So you can just go ahead and buy the open source diversity video receivers of your own choice and install in this video goggles. Use it does not work with fat shark modules so you have to buy other open source 5.8 gsd diversity video receiver modules remember that or you can buy just like me i'm lazy i don't like to search around or you can buy the set b that comes with twin true diversity video receivers installed in this video goggles well that doesn't mean that you have to just use those if you can find better open source 5.8 GSE diversity modules, you can just buy and install them. Just make sure they are compatible with these EV200D goggles. Enough said, let's bring the camera closer. Let's take a closer look at the video goggles and talk more about its other features. So here we have the Ishin EV200D. Before we take it outside the box, they have a 42 degree of diagonal FOV, 56 mm to 72 mm IPD range adjustable 1280 720p wide angle resolution yes that you should see aspect ratio is 16 by 9 which you can also change to 4 by 3 should you want to do it but why would you like to do that i love the widest screen 1280 720p screen okay and then support display modes in hdmi in side by side 3d and av in side by side 3d as well supports ntsc poll auto and manual selecting it has a built-in dvr it has no hdmi recording built-in dvr records only from the rf feed and it's probably the same dvr that has been used in ishin vrd2 pro and other ishin products and i'm talking about in a good positive way that is really a nice dvr that records uh 720p video um that records 720p resolution and of course wide angle the goggles can be powered by a 7 to 13 volt 2 or 3s batteries or usb power supply they already come with a 7.4 volt battery inside the box optional diopter lenses that are not included but you can use them you can also use fat shark diopter lenses which are 200 400 and 600 degrees so uh, people with the glasses will feel much better using these uh, video goggles well inside the box you have another carrying case and here are your beloved FPV video goggles. This is how they are packed in. Now I have I have been very excited about these. So I've taken them out and I've set them up already with foam and everything. But again, let me just show you. These are the FPV video goggles. Okay. Then we have a front cover, an extra front cover. I will show you why they have given you two. Then we have a USB cable and a battery an intelligent battery it's a 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp and by pressing and holding this button right here 
you can actually see the level of the charge on the battery and also you have a USB cable given that I just shown you to charge your battery they've also given you an HDMI cable one more uh, foam for the faceplate I have already installed one bigger foam okay and we have a user manual and a cleaning clothes all right so these are the FPV video goggles and they are quite heavy actually compared to the skies on goggles that I have these are a bit heavier the first thing that you want to notice are the four antennas that means two true diversity receivers are already installed in these video goggles and you can actually buy the aftermarket open source video receivers and install them here and that is why they have given you this kind of front plate which has a uh, transparent area for LCD screens for you to see the LCD screens of the other video receivers some of the video receivers do have that now removing this front cover is very very easy and of course installing the other uh, video receiver is also a piece of cake there's one video receiver and here's another video receiver so now you have two video receivers here uh, if you have an aftermarket open source video receiver you all you have to do is just remove this one okay and add your preferred open source video receiver so installation is just piece of cake for aftermarket video receivers now that these video receivers do not have any LCD screens so I will simply go and add the another front plate all right which does not have any LCD and make the goggles look even more neat now the goggles do not come with the antennas but you can use four different types of antennas for these FPV video goggles on the side that goes on your face you have a TF card slot right here you can add diopter lenses uh, according to your own uh, choice and according to your eyesight IPD is adjustable for both of them and the clicker are really I mean these sliders are really very smooth and nice and they have very little increment so you can basically do very precise settings of IPD supplied foam does not actually stick to the video goggles faceplate here you can basically remove it should you want to add another one so basically this is just a sticky velcro and you can remove it or adjust it so you can remove it add another one or adjust it according to the comfort for your face all right and basically a bigger form uh, and basically the thicker foam uh, given here for the faceplate does not let any light slip in trust me on that one the head strap is a three-piece head strap on this video FP video goggles and they actually are all adjustable and basically they keep the video goggles really nice and comfortable on your face you can install the battery supplied battery very nicely here and it's actually pretty secure right here not only that you don't worry about to, about the hanging battery cable around because they have already given you slots for you to slide it in and then power the video goggles using the same battery so very very considerable design right here for the straps after that on top of the video goggles you will notice there is a fan which looks like a palm jumeirah from dubai if you look at the design right here it actually resembles the palm jumeirah of dubai if you see it from the top guess ishin boss has recently been to dubai and he loved the view from the top and while taking the helicopter tour of dubai so he went ahead and <laughs> gave you a vent for your fan built-in fan that will defog the goggles uh, lenses inside and it's resembling the Dubai Palm Jumeirah right here if you look at it this way. <clears throat>
All right, then you have a DVR a button. Well, this is a button and a small joystick, and you have a mode button and joystick right here to control the features of goggles settings and DVR settings. Then you have a band and frequency selection button right here. It does have auto scan feature, and it will auto scan the frequency for you to lock on to the strongest signals. So you don't have to select the frequencies one by one. When we come to the bottom of the video goggles, of course, you have the IPD adjusters, uh, sliders. We have the headphone jack. We have a USB port, a DC port. Then we have a fan on off, so you can turn the fan on and off according to your choice. If you don't have the if you don't have fogging condensation inside the video goggles, you can keep it off to save battery. Otherwise, keep it on. We have a HDMI port and AV port right there. All in all, I would say these are really very well thought and well designed FPV video goggles. And having to have the capability of using twin diversity video receivers and four antennas is going to give you even better reception chances. And they have definitely better reception having four different types of antennas and twin diversity video receivers. Now we have four different antennas. And I'm going to show you how strangely high-tech alien I'm going to look like with the four antenna twin diversity video receiver goggles on my face. There we are. The goggles really sit very, very comfortable on my face. I mean, the feeling on the front is very comfortable and it's completely dark. There's no light slipping in from any side. Well, the case with my sky zones was that a lot of light slips in from different sides and sometimes causes glare and reflections even when I'm wearing those goggles. But these video goggles, there's nothing is completely dark inside, which is a very, very good thing. Now, on the face, they are very comfortable. However, on the side, these straps are actually hurting my ears a bit. Maybe my ears are a little long I'm not sure but a little bit it's still adjustable I can always adjust it to be comfortable with these video goggles so overall I will say really nice feel on my face though they feel a bit heavier compared to the sky zones but really very very nice feel okay so I have just added the TF card in the video goggles so I can record DVR I'm gonna power it on I'm going to power on the quadcopter as well. And here we are for, uh, give me a moment to adjust the IPD, otherwise I will have walleye. <laughs> wow. I mean, I have to say, wow. The view inside, there's no blurring on the edges. Edges are really nice and clear. It's all about adjusting the right angle of the video goggles. I'm going to turn around so you can see how I look from different angles, right? So once again, goggles are really very nice fit on my face. And a big wide angle, 16 by 9, 1280, 720p display in there. Awesome. Where is my, where is my uh, <laughs> FPV quadcopter? Let me just get a feel of it. Very nice, man. I can only say it's sweet. Wow! It's going to be real fun flying with these FPV video goggles.
thank you very much for watching this lengthy video about Ishin EV200 DFP video goggles. Once again, I'll say Ishin definitely have taken the game towards the next level and definitely have released a tough competition in the market in the category of FPV video goggles. I mean, I haven't seen any video goggles that can use twin diversity video receivers and capability of using the aftermarket open source diversity video receivers. This is definitely a plus point that is worth considering, worth spending your pennies on. Uh, do remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this detailed video. Next video that I'm gonna do as per my time definitely is a comparison of Ishin EV200D with the Skyzone O3 FPV video goals. Enjoy and stay tuned for more RC video reviews coming to your way very very soon. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.